Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey, and, and this, this is Dixie, Dixie and, and we're, we're Love Hut for, for Life. We've been on the road for about 600 days now, living this full-time nomadic lifestyle, and there are a whole lot of benefits to it. We'll give you our answer at the end, but we asked, what, 40 different nomads? what they think the best thing about living on the road is. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons below and leave us a comment about your favorite thing if you're on the road. So I think that the best thing about nomadic lifestyle is that I, being someone who still works full time, when I get out of work, I'm in like the most beautiful places ever instead of just getting out to a parking lot out of my office. And I'd say for me, the answer is just the freedom to pursue a life that I want to live. Being able to go wherever I want, anytime I want. Not being stuck in one spot. Um, even though sometimes we stay in one spot, we're not stuck. And we're able to crank up. And if we don't like our neighbors, we can move. Um, if we don't like our scenery, we can change it. Yeah. The best thing? Freedom, baby. That's the best thing. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you please to do, as long as you have the money to do so. That's the best thing about being on the road. So far it's been community actually, and not feeling as lonely as I did living in a big city. I think the best thing about living on the road is, it's probably just the experience. Uh, of breaking up the monotony between staying in one place and working with the same people and coming home the same way from work every day. And just, uh, I like I like the problems that come up on a regular basis. They're not huge problems. Sometimes they seem like that, but they keep seeming smaller and smaller. And that's what I like about living on the road. Freedom! <laughs> Lots of freedom, new locations, new people. Yeah, constantly being able to get to connect with the earth in a new way, new place, new environment, new views. Um, you can get some million dollar views and not have to spend millions of dollars to get those views. Um, and also all the people that we meet, it's pretty amazing. And not being dependent on the grid. Yeah. Get off the grid as much as possible. Best way to live your life. Uh -huh. Best thing about living in our bus is the freedom. It's all about the freedom. We, we're not tied down to one place. Um, we're, we don't like our neighbors, we can just crank up and leave. <laughs> we mostly like our neighbors. <laughs> Most. Yeah, but it's just been it was so wonderful to travel and see how beautiful each, each state or um, national parks or campgrounds we do, well we don't say a lot of campgrounds but we we just love traveling we love going places there's so many things um the people i meet my favorite thing is all the freedom i get to have um you get to pick where you stay each night and it could be a beautiful place place it could be just a secluded place you, you get to choose yeah, the, the flexibility to live your life the way you want to is, you know, unmatched by any other way of living. Freedom and being able to travel with the weather. Am I allowed to put an and in there? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's what I would say. Freedom. Being able to sleep in and do what you want, what you want on your own time frame. And when you don't like the weather, turn the key. Oh, okay. Um, definitely the freedom. Like the freedom and like my time and what I get to do with my day and being able to explore. Um, but yeah, definitely like freedom to just uh, kind of spend my days the way I want to. <laughs> um, what's the best thing about living on the road? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't think there's any living off the road. <laughs> Mm, the freedom. Uh, the freedom, I guess. I mean, the ability to change my mind and go the other way if I decide to on a whim. I, uh, I like not being forced to get up for 
any schedule other than my own sleep schedule. So, yeah, I don't know, that's, that one's the probably the easiest and the hardest one to answer. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's simple as freedom. For me, it's being able to get up and go whenever I want. And I don't want to get up and go an awful lot, but every once in a while I'll get the weirdest urges at three in the morning or just like, I've, I've got to be out of here. I've got to be out of here. And so then I can literally just put a couple of things away and be down the road. And I just love to drive. So that for me, that's the best thing is getting up and going. Uh, the best thing for me is just to be able to get up and go and change your scenery whenever you want, chase the weather. Um, and just that, that freedom, the freedom to travel, not be tied down in one place, for me personally. Different view out of your back door every day if you like it. And uh, I just like seeing the country, a lot of, a lot of different people out here too. That's a, the biggest resource here is not the stuff or the places, it's the people. And it's just kind of beats, it's beats sitting in an apartment getting old. Best thing for me is uh, being able to be out in nature. Um, I like going on long walks and rock hounding. Just being in nature is definitely my favorite part. You can change your neighbors. Oh. Uh, living in the city, living in the vortex, gets a little mundane. You keep doing the same thing over and over. Being out on the road you can actually chase the opportunity and stay in some wonderful places, meet some wonderful people. Um, best thing about it is freedom. Best thing about nomadic life is if I break down or I go broke or whatever happens, I live here. That's it. Where that is, I'm at and I live here. Um, I felt like I was living to work and working to live. Now I feel like my life is mine. I mean, for me, the best thing about nomadic life is just kind of being free to go wherever and do whatever, whenever. I mean, we are a big, it's almost a problem for us of like, just whenever people say, hey, let's do this on this side of the country, we'll just get up and go and like, here in a minute. yeah, kind of be able to experience anything without having restriction to anything pretty much. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, there's a bunch for me, but there's a couple that stand out. But we thought the best thing yeah. was going to be the awesome destinations that we were going to get to see all across the country. And we have seen some amazing ones. But it turned out that is not the best thing. Yeah, it's the people that we've met along mm -hmm. the ways. Like even uh, when we went to a tiny house festival in Florida two years ago, we met several groups of people that we still stay in contact with regularly yep. two years later. Yeah, Love Hut for Life is one of them. Yeah. And just being on the road gives us so many opportunities to meet people that we would have never been able to meet if we stayed stationary. Yep. And we actually have the time to stop and talk to people. Yeah. And that's a luxury we never had before. And we're finding it just amazing. It's yeah. awesome to have that time to be able to stand there and have a real conversation with people. And not have to worry about that you have to be at work the next day. Yep. But it's not only nomads that you meet. It's just amazing people doing things Everybody's doing their own thing, but all over the United States, Canada. Yep. It's just it's like, been... it seems like everywhere we go. So. And hearing their life yeah. stories is so interesting. That is my favorite part about yep. Nomad Life. Yep, the stories. Mm -hmm. Guys, there were a whole lot of really great answers uh, there. And we want to say thank you to each and every one of the nomads who helped make this video possible and all of our other nomad interview videos uh, as well. <laughs> I think for me, it's definitely going to boil down to freedom and what that freedom allows us to do. So spending time with all of the people in this video, building, uh, building relationships that we just never thought possible. And of course, spending time with this big hairy dude. That's me. And Dixie. <laughs> I get a whole lot more time with the two of them this way uh, than I ever did before. And that's probably the most important thing to me. My answer is, I can't tell you. It's the unknown. It's the weird things you come across. It's the weird people you meet. 
It's the, you've never planned on seeing this before. You've never seen it on a website or on Instagram. It's something you discover. So the only way to experience those things is to get out and turn down a road you don't know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave us a comment below telling us your favorite things about being on the road if you are. And guys, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as well. We'll be coming to you every Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday with new videos. On Wednesdays, we'll have a mixture between these Nomad interviews and tours of all of the rigs that Shane's been building. We just finished up this schoolie, and next Wednesday, you're going to get a full tour of it. Mm -hmm. See y'all later, guys. Peace out. Bye, y'all. Thank you.